Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach, and this is my video about how, number one, SJWs never <laughs> read past the headline. Number two, comics are doing great as long as you're making Dogman or uh, uh, manga about uh, cooking or playing soccer or uh, hunting demons. Uh, but first of all, Pandemic is getting out to, it looks like it still hasn't really gotten, um, it's gotten to Canada uh, a couple, but um, <laughs> still waiting on it to get to uh, overseas. Uh, but uh, people like it. Okay, so <laughs> this is gonna sound very odd to say People like it more than I expected <laughs> Like it's good. I like it, but I thought it was a bit of an acquired taste uh, such as um, Lieutenant Dank's India Pale Ale from Wicked Weed Brewing Company A gun and a drill means something when after you read the book and then somebody sent me a bunch of crowdfunded books that they've gotten recently look great. Before we start, Impossible Stars graphic novel, Spendables Go to Hell graphic novel, Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar graphic novel. Links are in the description. No, it's not the end of the video. I'm saying that at the beginning now. But every quarter, uh, they come up with a story like this. And every quarter, the same SJWs say the exact same thing without ever reading past the headline. So every quarter, there's an article that says, uh, graphic novel sales are amazeballs. And they go, <laughs> take that, you incels. Graphic novel sales up 42% in North American bookstores this quarter. Gosh, I always say, I always say SJWs don't read past the title. They don't even read the subtitle with Dogman and Manga driving the big gains. Well, that's funny you say that. Because your picture is a bunch of superhero books. Mainstream Marvel DC books. That's not what's driving sales up. Graphic novel sales in the North American bookstore market is up 42% this quarter, according to the market research company NPD Group. I love their rap albums. Their second album is like fire, bro. Um, for the months of July to September 2020, 4 million print graphic novels were reportedly sold in the North American bookstore market, up tremendously from April, June 2020's 2.8 million print graphic novels. NPD reports that the, does anyone remember when Professor Griff left NPD? I was shocked. I mean, I'm still shocked, but so. NPD reports that the manga subcategory accounted for nearly Three quarters of the growth in this most recent quarter. Now I have a question for you. Does Ron Mars write manga? Does Jamal Eigel draw Dogman? If the answer to one or both of these questions is no, then what are y'all freaking you're all just strutting like Mick Jagger? Hey, take that, you incels. Sales are up for uh, other people. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go on further. According to NPD, the manga subcategory has 25% year-on-year. I'm assuming that means increase. While the superhero category has declined by 11%. Excuse me. Does Ron Mars write and Jamal Eigel draw superhero comics? They do. And that category has gone down by 11%. Uh, and then they, you know, point out that over the past years, manga has grown by 8%. Uh, so it sounds like there's a giant spike in growth for manga and Dogman. Uh, and there is a shrinkage, significant shrinkage uh, for the superhero market, which is weird because people who make superhero comics are using articles like this to flex. The other key driver for graphic novels is Q3 2020 uptick would be September 1st, Dogman, Grime and Punishment. I don't get it. Is that a pun? I don't get it. By, I'm gonna say his name is probably Dave. Dav, Dave Pilkey, which sold 589,628 print copies by the end of September. So I like numbers. I'm learning to like them. Um, I'm, I'm making a lot more spreadsheets. It's kind of, 
every year that I'm a publisher, I'm like, I'm doing good. And then a year later, it's like, bruh, your records are trash and you're trash. So now I'm getting a lot better at them. But uh, one of the things I like about this 589,628 is that it's an exact number. For some of the usual suspect uh, shill media uh, comic book sites, I noticed that all of a sudden, like multiple books sold 130,000. Hey, Netflix pitch 1,743 from this year sold 130,000. Hey, Netflix pitch 18,234 sold 100, like, Wow, it's amazing how books keep selling the exact same number. This ninth volume of Dogman was the best-selling book for all of North America from its debut until September 15th, when it was surpassed by Bob Woodward's Rage. Oh, so, so it, it was like, oh, so that's like an actual bestseller. That's not like bestseller subcategory. That's like the bestseller. Wow, okay. Uh, Pilkey's next book, Cat Kid Comic Club, goes on sale December 1st. Graphic novels is 42% gain is the highest growth per category for the market, which had an overall 6.4% growth this quarter. Print book sales seem to be rebounding from the pandemic, with Q3 2020's growth being the highest since Q3 2005, the release of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Very, very interesting. <laughs> You learn so much when you read past the headline. Now, the YouTubers say that comics are dying, but manga and Dogman are selling well. Well, when I was talking about comic books, for 95% of the time over the last three and a half years, I've been talking about the North American direct market, which is very superhero intensive. I now try to be more specific, and I think I've been doing that for about, I don't know, the last six, you know, six months or so. I will say, direct market, which is comic book shops in North America. Um, never did I claim, nor did anyone claim, that every sale of every comic book-esque product in the entire world would evaporate. I really wasn't concentrating on that. I am now because it's, you know, it's, it's interesting. I like to see winners. I like to see winners and, and learn from them. Uh, you can learn from losers, as I have done from the North American comic book direct market over the last three years, but it is ultimately very, very depressing. It's just a bunch of dum-dums patting themselves on the back for the successes of others. Raina Telgemeier's success does not trickle down to Ron Mars and Jamal Eigel. Neither does the dog man success of Dav Pilkey trickle down to Jamal or Ron or comic book stores in the direct market. That helps their publisher, it helps Barnes & Noble, but it doesn't help the people who are flexing and strutting like freaking Mick Jagger in a music video from 1983. Like, uh, dial it down, dial it back. Dav Pilkey's doing great. Raina Telgemeier as well. Hell, J.K. Rowling's doing good too. I'm doing good, Ethan's doing good, John Malin's doing good. The comic book direct market creators who make most of their money through it, comic shop owners, they're all doing bad, and then that's not funny. It's not funny, it's not fun. And when you're flexing, because you didn't read past the headline while stores are going out of business, or more commonly, as I coined the phrase a year or so ago, unopening. Unopening is when you are a comic book store that does not rely on comic book sales. You got a little half a card table in the back corner near the drinking fountain, but you're making your money on Magic the Gathering, Funko Pop, and uh, other uh, geek bric-a-brac in your geek bodega, which actually used to be an actual comic book store. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe, make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the bell for notifications. Thanks to everyone given to the Patreon and the Indiegogo. You're funding original content and an original lawsuit. Links are in the description. I don't know why it's so hard to say the description, but I trip over that about 65% of the time. Uh, so, uh, Impossible Stars, Spendables Go to Hell, Jawbreakers Grand Bazaar, and I'll have uh, new comic reviews and industry news uh, up all this weekend. Thanks, bye.